out here to the uh, airfield at Wendover, Utah, which is on the western border of Utah on near Interstate 80, to see if we could set a new land speed record for hybrid trucks. What a hybrid does is use two different power sources. And ours is a parallel system so that we can use one or we can use the other. And it uses diesel fuel or it uses an electric motor. What's interesting about the, the race truck that Boy Overbrink has here is that it's got a lot of production, mostly production parts in the truck. It's got a D16 engine, heavily modified of course, but with an I-shift transmission. And then the hybrid has an electric motor between the engine and the transmission that can provide about 200 horsepower. To set one of these events up, there's lots of behind the scenes, you know, getting everything ready. And here on the runways, what we have to do is we have to measure everything, and we do it with Global, and uh, measure out uh, the racetrack and the traps. Uh, they'll run a, a kilometer, a kilometer. Uh, they do a standing stop, so we have four sets of uh, sensors out there. And once we get the sensors out, uh, then we run wire over to uh, the station where all the press and everybody will be, and the timing staff will be there. Uh, so we've been out here two days surveying and picking the best racetrack for him, uh, which way the winds are blowing, trying to get the best possible positions that we can get. The airfield here, the, the, it's much better. It's not yumpy. It's, it, uh, the traction was 100 perfect. The atmosphere is perfect to be here, so I'm very, very pleased. I do first the flying kilometer, I do that two times, and uh, after that we go for the zero and 1,000 meters with standing start. We also made one kilometer only on electric to show it is a real hybrid. When they start talking about two years ago, I never expect we shall be here, and today I'm here. I'm so proud that it will maybe never happen again, but I'm here now, I made two world records, what can we do more?